here's what it comes down to. We have a big choice to make. At least we have a big choice to make. And it's not too late to get this right. We can stay on the path that we are on, the path that President Obama has continued us down, which is a nation further in debt, further in doubt, a nation going into decline. Or we can get it right, reapply our principles, get us back on the right track, revive this economy, and get the American idea back on track so we can save this country's greatness. It's a clear choice. You see, politicians, President Obama and too many politicians in Washington have been more worried about their next election than they've been worried about the next generation. We cannot continue to reward the politics of the past. And we won't do that. We will lead. We will take on the tough issues. We want to earn your support. We want to deserve victory. So that when we do this, next year, we will do all the things we need to do to get people back to work, to get this economy growing, to get this debt on the path to being paid off, and leave our children a better country. That's what it is. Now, undoubtedly, President Obama inherited a difficult situation when he came into office. The problem is, he made things much worse. <laughs> and he's not changing tune, he's going in the same direction. So really what we have here is we have a president who's run out of ideas. And therefore we have a president who has decided that his campaign is going to be based on frustration and anger. Hope and change has now become attack and blame. We're not going to fall for that this year, are we? No. no. We're going to be offering solutions. We're going to be offering ideas to get this economy growing. Specifically, you see it right there on the, on the, on the wall. The Romney plan for a stronger middle class. A specific agenda to get higher take-home pay, more jobs in this economy. It's an agenda with the goal of creating 12 million jobs in the first four years. That's 345,000 jobs right here in Virginia. Yeah. Grow our economy, reignite opportunity. We, there's no reason why we can't grow our economy at 4% instead of the stalemate we have right now. But it's gonna take leadership, it's going to take decision-making. It's going to take a plan.